Hey, what's going on everybody? Been a little while since I got a video out. Wanted to get one updated as I'm between travel right now and have some a little extra time this weekend. So this is the Paragon Warlock knife and this is their special edition. It comes with the Sorcerer Grind, which you'll see in a minute what that looks like. It's mainly just a design on the middle piece of the blade. And this also comes in S90V, which I believe is above what their standard version of this, which is S30V. And since I purchased this knife, I believe they stopped making the S90V blade. They still make this style, which is the Sorcerer style Warlock, which comes in red and black and has the grind on the blade that way. But the new steel, I believe, is CTS40, uh, CTS40CP. Uh, and I really love S90V. I have a... Jake Hoback knife in S90V and it's an awesome steel so I'm glad I got this one when it first came out. So I'll give you some close-up views. Paragon Asheville Steel. I believe Asheville Steel is the parent company and Paragon is the knife making company of them. See a nice little design in the aluminum there. You can switch the pocket clip to be left or right hand carry. See the jimping on the side so if you're holding the knife thumb goes in there nicely. Reverse side, pivot again in the red, pocket clip, and picked up this knife mainly because of the very interesting opening system they have for it. So there's the knife. And you can see when you push the two pivots together, it opens up, allows the knife to swing out. And I'll show you this blade here. One of the reasons I really got this was because of the red and black combo, the opening system, and also this interesting, they call the sorcerer's grind, this groove on the middle. Gives it that kind of interesting medieval mystical uh, Merlin <laughs> type look to it, I guess. But I just thought it was a really very sweet looking. And this is fully ground on both sides, or fully sharp on both sides. It's a dagger grind uh, with both edges fully sharpened. Very interesting look here. Comes to an extremely sharp point. And you can see as I mentioned before the S90V made in the USA. Give you guys a little far out look at that. And on the reverse side no marking just that kind of nice cross Put in the center with the additional grinds in the middle. Give you guys a look at the edge here. Very mean looking knife. And a, you know, just a little touch, I'd say back and forth, you know, this way. There's a touch side to side really nothing. So pretty well locked up for this system in here. I'm not sure if this is what the coating is on here. I would assume it's a Cerakote. I think I have the page pulled up on the side here so let me see if there's any notes on it. Uh, does not say on the stat sheet. So the stats on this you're looking at a little over 9 inches in overall length, 4 inches in blade length, 0.125 on the blade thickness. I'll show how that kind of drops out. So let me see if I can show you guys when you close it. There you go. And you can uh, you know, do it in either hand obviously. So here make sure the pocket clip is facing down because you don't want it to cut into your hand drops out that way and then if you wanted to switch it to this side close it left-handed close it right-handed switch it around and you guys uh, just so you know you have to do a little bit of wrist action with it especially when it's just fully horizontal this way but normally if you're pulling out of your pocket you know you're taking it this way uh, the gravity 
is going to pull it down as long as you're facing it somewhat at a downward angle and then open up. So it's a little bit difficult on the camera here to get it exactly right. You, know, you kind of have to give it a little motion. But really neat, kind of interesting idea here. I don't know if it's the quickest or best way to get a knife open and out, but again, being that I'm more of the collector type and like to have a few unique pieces and anything that seems to have something intriguing about it, I like to grab onto. I thought this was pretty neat and I did also appreciate the color combo of red and black, the grind, uh, sorcerer's grind down the middle, that it was more of a limited edition uh, piece in this model group, and that it had the S90V. Give you guys a little size comparison. There's the Paragon. Uh, so let's talk about another interesting opening knife. Here is the Grant and Gavin Hawk Deadlock out the front. And again, this is a dagger grind. However, I only had the one side sharpened, so it's not sharpened on both sides. But pretty comparable in size there. Obviously, it's a little bit wider of a blade. Yep, and give you a foreground look. All right, uh, and then here is Hoback Quayback. Just as another size comparison. Pretty even there. And then I uh, thought I would put this one, the Browse Blades Division. Probably going to be the largest. Yeah. So, keep this under 10 minutes for you guys. Really enjoyed getting this knife in. And it's been a pretty nice add to the collection. I would say if you are looking for a dagger ground knife that has some character to it, this definitely would be one of the routes to go. Came very sharp out of the box. If I had some paper here, I would cut it uh, to show it to you guys. I just don't happen to have any on me. But again, just to kind of give you another close-up at what this knife is. So you can see there, centered right in the middle. There's the pivot. And there it is from that side. See, it's kind of dropping out a little bit. And you can see how it closes on it right there. I'm trying not to hit the uh, camera stand here or uh, hit the camera as I flip it up. But there you go. Paragon Warlock S90V Red and Black Edition. Pretty neat. All right. I'll guys, uh, I'll get another video out pretty soon on another knife I got in. And then from there, I'm getting a couple new watches soon. So I may do some videos on that. And anything else that comes up, I'll, I'll get out. All right. So you guys take care and I'll see you later.